hello 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 everybody hope you all are doing well welcome to monster to rise on the pc and this is going to be a video to show you how you can unlock the cutscenes in monster to rise so the first thing i'm going to show you though is this nexus mod post so this was a post about unlocking cutscene fps and image quality settings ideally i would have liked to firstly just download this mod and it would have just worked like magic but unfortunately not everyone's memory address is the same and you don't really understand what that is that's okay what we're gonna do is follow the steps by mistress ashai in this post so if you know how cheat engine works and you can follow these steps you can probably just pause the video here and follow them but if you're someone like me who never used cheat engine and don't know what to do this video will be a visual representation of these steps here so the first thing you want to do is download cheat engine you go to the url here i'll put it in the description down below and you download cheat engine now don't worry about like getting banned or having any sort of agreement issues i suppose you're just really just gonna unlock the cutscenes that's all so go ahead and download cheat engine you might get a firewall warning you could probably just let it pass download cheat engine then you'll be ready to do the next step so once you have downloaded cheat engine and it is ready to go you open up cheat engine and it should look like a window like this you're gonna have a little glowing green and red icon right here you're gonna click on that and you should have monster hunter rise open in the background because if you don't it won't show up on this list so you're gonna select monster hunter rise and click open uh ignore this pop-up that's because i already had something open and i know this is a bit jarring just because there's a lot of stuff you may or may not even understand but we're gonna select the value type to float and then we're going to change uh put the value inputs to 30 and what we're going to do is scan monster to rise and here we're going to get thousands of entries but don't worry we're going to narrow it down to a hopefully one there's cases where we may get more than one so here we got 30 so go into monster to rise go into new game and what you're doing is that you're just getting the fps to change to the PS lock that you currently have set so if you had it locked to 60 or 120 or 165 then you're good to go so you can go back to your cheat engine change the value to your respective fps value so mine is 144 so if yours was 60 you put 60 if, you put one, if yours was 165 you put 165 and what you're doing is that you're going to narrow down this list by hitting next scan do not hit new scan because if you did new scan you'll get thousands of entries again so here in our case we got three different values or diff three different addresses and just from my personal observation and testing of this it's always been the one that starts with a two and is exactly 30. so here this one's 31 so i crossed that out this one's has decimals i crossed that out so this one by process of elimination is the one we want if you're lucky you'll just get one entry but sometimes you're not lucky so you can change the description of it to a uh, cutscene fps and then you're gonna uh you're gonna see that the value here is 144 you're gonna tick this box in active what this does is essentially freezes this value because the game likes to change this 144 to 30 whenever you're in a cutscene. So what you're doing is just you're preventing that. You could literally change this value to anything by double clicking on the uh, values part here. If you want your cutscenes to be of a higher FPS. So yeah, essentially you're done on this part in the cheat engine. You can do file, save, and then save your cheat engine. Uh, so you can just open the, up the file save of cheat engine and you should be ready to go but in case you always have to do this well you got this video reference to help you so you can go back to monster to rise you can see that one 144 right now and if we go back to the title screen we should be getting fps of 144 now now that's not entirely super impressive on the title screen but it is definitely noticeable when you see the beginning cutscenes for monsters and the cutscenes yeah you have not seen yet in the story all right guys we are back i mean in the room in your room 
you're gonna, I'm going to go into gallery and then show you some cutscenes just to show you that we indeed do have increased FPS lock. So I'm just going to choose one of these random ones. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. This one is probably the most active one I have so far. And yeah, there we go. Our FPS for the cutscene is now on 144 and not locked to 30 FPS as it originally was when I first watched this. You might see a bit of screen tearing, that's only because I don't have V-Sync on, because V-Sync turns my FPS to 60. Yeah, hopefully this guy helped, uh, this little video helps you guys. And hopefully one day you don't have to do this, where it work around, Capcom will just make it to work. Whatever FPS lock to match your cutscenes. Yeah, I've tested this a bunch now. I've watched a bunch of cutscenes. And so far, I have not crashed in any way. Yeah, I was just going to leave this cutscene running so you guys can watch it. And hopefully, this video helps you. So remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And until then, I will see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>